John Magnuson, M-A-G-N-U-S-O-N. -S I'm a Lutheran pastor and one of a hundred uh, faith leaders from ten different religious traditions in Marquette County who have publicly opposed uh, the proposed Rio Tinto mine since 2006. Um, you know, I'm aware that you're no stranger to these public types of public hearings, and uh, in one sense, I envy you uh, because you can leave tomorrow <laughs> and uh, you can hear some impassioned uh, points of view. And there are differences. I certainly recognize that, and many of them are legitimate. But I want to say that I am here tonight to encourage you to support your present position, your objections to um, the applicant meeting regulation 404 of the Clean Water Act. I, want, I would like to encourage you to be courageous and not be swayed by emotion. You have a mandate. Uh, as Mr. Quayle, one of our commissioners, mentioned earlier, uh, this conversation is heavily influenced by the influx of money into this county. Now, we, we can take different points of view about that, but Kennecott is one of the most controversial uh, international mining companies in the world, as you know, uh, filled full of record of human rights violations and most terrible environmental degradation left behind. Exxon, as you know, the, the Valdez story, 1988, uh, after that, uh, the ruling was that they owed the state of Alaska $80 billion for reparations. They have now paid, uh, at this day, zero because of their attorneys who have appealed. And that's what we're faced here. So the, the decision you make is very, very significant. Uh, I would like to close by just saying two things. One, uh, Jan Schultz, who's the chief botanist for the Eastern Region of the United States Forest Service, told me uh, when we were in a back road about a month ago. She said, you know, John, we have species of plants and wildlife here, especially plants that are unique <coughs> in the planet, in the planet, in the midst of the Upper Peninsula here. And lastly, uh, there is one uh, sophism, which is a, a slippage of, of, to me, rational logic going on in the conversation here, and it's this. This is not our problem. This is Rio Tinto's problem. Mm -hmm. And Rio Tinto is making it our problem to figure out which of these difficult choices to make. So I encourage you to be courageous. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you.